Hello friends, welcome to a new series. This is West of Loathing. This game came out a couple of days ago and it's the latest effort from Asymmetric Publications. Uh, the guys behind Kingdom of Loathing and Word Realms, both of which I've played on stream. I don't know if you were hanging around for that, but anyway, this is their new game. I think it's set in the same universe as Kingdom of Loathing, but as you can see, this is more of a, a traditional kind of RPG style. And hopefully, I, I don't know anything about it, but hopefully it's going to have some of Asymmetric's trademark humour. Uh, so this is a completely blind run, I haven't played this at all. And you know what, I thought this one deserved a face cam because you can almost believe that I've got a green screen here. Um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully that's not going to be obscuring anything too important. Uh, okay, so this is my character creation. This is a little bit Fallout. Yancey Dumont. I don't want to be Yancey Dumont. Oh, cool. Um, change your character. How do I do this, please? I shoot one of these guys? Can I be any of these characters? I want to be the cat. Oh, no, okay, I can't be the cat. I can be Tiger Maverick, though. Or Edith Marston. Okay, we shot the cat and we came up with Katarina Altry, so we've got to go for that, really. Always go for the double cat. I had the strangest dream I was choosing a carrot class. Cow puncher, bean slinger, snake oiler. All right, we're back in asymmetric land here. Uh, I've got to go bean slinger, right? I've got to go for mysticality. Magic and cooking are uh, inextricably intertwined in loathing, and the bean slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home. Jeez, so most of the cooks haven't been brutally killed by the cows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little bit sorry, Pratchett. All right, we'll go with Beanslinger. We'll take it. I don't know the controls. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, okay, so we are... Oh, the webcam is obscuring a little bit here. We'll, we'll, we'll pop it up here. I hope, Hopefully that's not too jarring. We'll fix it in post. Okay, WASD to move. The 3D is a little bit odd. Goodbye, phonograph. Oh, no, I, I want the music on. It's great music. No, where do I stow the handle? I, I don't like this. Yeah, there we go. Read the spine of one of your books, The Journey to Books. The Journey to Vampire Canyon. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. I, I won't bother reading that. I do want to explore a little bit though. I can comb my hair. I gain one XP. You are actually joking. Hey Russell, how you doing? Ah. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Ah. We can give him a cricket. Aww. Maybe it's time for you to leave to... Uh, am I taking him with me or am I setting him free? He's just gonna die here on his own. Oh, We set him free. Well... If he doesn't come back, he was never ours to begin with. Alright. Oh, we're just in the living room. For some reason I thought we were exiting the house. I'm, I'm just performing basic household chores. <laughs> And gaining XP for it. It's mom's pie safe, it keeps all her pies safe. Yep, well, I mean, that makes sense. You'll miss me also the family. Okay, I get it! Okay, we're leaving home. And we're breaking the fourth wall. I like it. That's classic asymmetric. Your family's farm. This is mum! Your mum smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mum. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yeah, it's that book you wanted for Crimba. I know it's early, but... All right, um, well, I mean, out of these three, I'm going to say Desert Survival probably seems like the most important one. Please be careful, they'll run us aloud when you can. I will, Mom, goodbye. All right, can we access our inventory? Yeah, okay, it's up here. It's I. I could have guessed that, to be fair. Can we read this? This book contains everything you need to know to turn the harsh, unforgiving desert into your own personal buffet. And the best part is the buffet also has an open bar. <laughs> You read the book and learn all sorts of tricks for squeezing extra stuff out of cactuses and whatnot. You gain a skill foraging. You know how to live off the land by extracting food and booze and potions from the cactus parts of the land. You can forage basic goods from cacti. Nice. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you accidentally squeeze the book into book juice, which it turns out isn't a real thing. Oh, I've missed Asymmetric, man. They're so funny. Um, we don't have a map, right? We can access our character screen. We're a bean slinger. We've got stomach, liver, and spleen. This is definitely set in the... In the traditional loathing universe, which I'm all for. Okay, I don't know if I actually need my mouse cursor on the screen. I, I imagine I don't. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. All right, so we're facing north. I just wanted one more hug before I leave. Mm, oh, all right. What about my asshole brother? Oh, my father. <laughs> that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. 
Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. You got an item can of infinite beans. That's too many beans. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. Okay. What does this do, please? You think it can with an unlimited number of beans and it would be really exciting, but these beans are pretty terrible. It is a cool thing to carry around that this item goes in your offhand. One's a spell damage muscle and moxie. Oh, we've got some info here. Spell damage makes your spells do more damage. I can get I can get behind that. Muscle determines how much damage your melee attacks do and how much damage you take when you get hit by melee attacks. For example, if an attack against a bandit would normally do three damage, but your muscle is one lower than the bandit, the attack will do two damage instead. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. So it's actually that's a weirdly simple way for that to work, because that is simpler than most RPGs would do that. Muscle determines how much damage your pistol attacks do and how much damage you take when you get shot by enemies, so it's exactly the same as muscle but for ranged attacks. Okay. Also, I'm not going to attempt any southern US accents here, because, if, frankly, it would get old and be very insulting. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west, anyway? Well, I mean, all of the above. You know what? This seems like a feel-good game. We'll go west to help people. It's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year, and that statistic is from before the cows came home. <laughs> I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mum and dad, I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'd be dead by Crimbo. I miss you, Rufus. Okay. Silly old Rufus. Go west, young woman! Yes! I didn't even really notice that we were a woman. I just, kinda, I just saw the name Cat and got excited. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. That's just the opening credits. You know what? We'll watch these. We should we should watch the credits. The music's pretty good as well. And it is not just Asymmetric, it's the same guy, Zach Johnson, who uh who gave birth to KOL. I was gonna say KOL is his baby, and then I kind of reverse engineered that. Didn't really come out right. Yeah, it's good to see he's still got the same vision after like, well, like, well over 10 years. Close to 15 years now KOL's been around, King of Loathing. What a game. Boom operator. Okay. <laughs> 200 miles later, we're still 300 miles from the dirt water. Luckily, I've got my desert survival foraging skill, so I can make stuff from the cactus part of the land. Well, the bad news is you fell off that cart and got knocked down for a couple of hours, and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. The town of Boring Springs. A turnip? Oh, this is very don't starve. You've got an item dusty turnip. You have to check all this stuff. A turnip covered in grit. Increases all your stats by one for the rest of the day. Is that an orange? Nope, that's a stone, because we're in the desert! BS horsery, gone drinking. I guess that's where we'll find the horsery owner. The horsery heir. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dang dammit? <laughs> well, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat, team proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box and find a magical black stats, and that looks like something you'd wear. You got an item barely enchanted hat. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, gal. Yeah, you heading west? You yeah, want some company? I've been more than happy to come along. Uh, just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. I can't pick him now because I've already condemned him to the most awful voice known to man. Let's get a drink. You all got to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign page at the back wall reading Reward for Lost Mugs 25 meat each. Howdy, cowgirl! Same voice. Why not? Fuck it. Howdy, Barky. Name's Katarina. What brings you to our little backwater? Ah, the usual. Came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by dirt water, which is 300 miles away. Ask about errands. We should do some side quests. Yeah, this forsaken burg? I don't know what that means. Oh, town. It's always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg and that no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. I think that's sheriff, right? I'm a little bit rusty on my Texan. 
I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Nice. Some cow poking in from the girl. She didn't wipe his boots. So I've got spores everywhere. I think I can handle a goblin. Should probably do some kind of fighting. Weak fungicide. The liquid in this can is actually very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. I get it. That's that's a subversion. Okay. Can we equip that? No. This is this is just regular old stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to use my dusty turnip just yet. I feel like that might be the kind of thing you get early on and like need to use at the right time. Excuse me. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, it's absolutely disgusting. Let's look at it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. Seems like a good idea. You are now on your hands and knees peering into a filthy crusted spittoon. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with you. But is there something shining at the bottom? Oh, okay. Oh man, sorry about the mouse castle. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite beer barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful- What am I doing?! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like- Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Surge. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. Your feet have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You've got an item nasty ring. Hooray! What does that do? Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Plus one to all stats. That seems like it might be powerful. That's like 50% increase, right? Okay, I'm, I'm just reading this again. So muscle, mysticality, and moxie all work the same way, but for physical attacks, spells, and ranged attacks. Cool, got it. Can we change a hat? Can we change a hat? No, okay. We can't change a hat, because that's actually uh, equipment, right? Should have checked this stuff. Don't be fooled by all the stars. There's ain't much magic in it. Plus one mysticality. Oh, so spell damage and mysticality are different. Okay. Let's go and do a fight. I should probably leave him alone. I don't know, man. I feel like we might get a chance to play that later. Mouse cursor. I need it. That's the thing. Maybe... I. Alright. You know what? We'll go into our settings in OBS. Because I am a professional. And we'll see if we can hide the mouse cursor. Uh, you know what? We, we can deal with it for this episode. I don't want to break the flow and I'm enjoying this. A pile of old newspapers, take one. You've got an item, Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. Aha, oh, 420. I get it. It's hilarious. Let's grab some whiskey. I'm afraid a nurse run whiskey. Good for what ails you. I guess we never never establish your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. Nurse brand whiskey. Too cheap for you to even consider drinking it. Then given your legendarily low standards, that's really saying something. I have low whiskey standards, my friend. We can attack the goblin. Let's see what combat is like in here. All right, it's turn-based, which is good. Let's check out our skills. We have one action point, so I guess that means we can take one turn this round. Oh, and it tells you how much damage you deal, so you don't have to do maths like Darkest Dungeon. Cool. Target will suffer nine hot damage. Oh, has he got the same five element system in KOL? Hot, cold, stench, spooky, and sleaze. Oh man, this is nostalgic. Giving up is the same as losing, okay. Let's use Lava Fava. Okay, we have plenty of HP. It has 16, we have... How much HP do we have? Um, I don't know. Oh, right, okay, 19 out of 20. So you can just target with the... By clicking the, the HP bar. No action points remaining. Oh, okay. So it tells you how much AP each thing costs here. Might as well melee attack. Okay. I feel like this is going to be an easy fight. We'll just melee attack it to death. Also, I feel like my OBS settings have messed up some. No, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll, we'll see. Oh, no. It's going to be left with one HP. It's okay. What does this do again? Bean shield. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Mm. Victory! 
having dispersed the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. We gained 3 XP and we got a mysticality skill up. You left spores everywhere though, you hose them down with a cat of fungus eye, which I forgot I had. So hopefully I'll be able to grab some meat for that, which is currency in this game. The woman glares at you, you should probably let her drink, yep. What the hell is a town hostel? I don't know what that is. And the town hall selling guy, gotcha. How's that working out for you? Are those horses just flying out the door? Business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. <laughs> is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep, and me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. So our mount hopefully will be able to take us to dirt water. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Katarina. I knew you was a stand-up girl the moment you walked in here. 200 meat. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? Great question. Can I be introduced to her? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Real tough broad. I don't recommend you pester her. Lost a whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pen up frustrations about it. I can understand that. Alright, well. We're going to grab ourselves a horse. And we're coming out of the fourth wall again. Horses, 1,000 meat. Will you please fuck off? <laughs> Can you sell me a horse? Just think I should warn you though, horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you've bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Right now, I only have the one horse available. That sounds fine to me. I'm certainly willing to sell you my least interesting horse. He costs 1,000 meat. I don't have that much meat. I'll come back when I get some dough. Let's dig through it. We're gonna find a needle. That would be classic. Yeah, all right. I don't know how to get a needle. Uh, how's business? I know every day I'm hostling. Okay, maybe I can maybe I can leave this conversation? Oh, okay. I'll go fetch them myself and see if this entry. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. And then you're going to sell them to me for a thousand? How many are there? Three. Let me see your map. They pretty much always run away to the same places. The Orhole Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, and the Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why are these places? I think they're like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. You get a bag of homing oats. A special pigeon infused oats. <laughs> this game, man. And another needle. What do the needles do? That's a great question. It's not for sewing, it's for picking locks. Alright. There was something locked over here, right? No, it was the it was the horsery. 300 miles is too far to go on foot. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Um, so how do we get to- oh, I'll be over to the right hand side. Oh, let's trade! Step right up, step right up! Braid's the name and trade's the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid? Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, madam, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And if the coming Skinner brings me three rebel snake eyes, well, on that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I'll take some dynamite for this needle, yeah. Raid, which is so not a name, takes your needle and adds you a stick of dynamite. That seems like a good trade. No trades right now, thanks. All right. Maybe we'll be able to trade that back later or get lost. Okay. The doctor is in there. Alice closed, MD. Topeka? All oh, right. Okay. That's where we came from. Not allowed back there? No? Oh, that, that's, a, that's a noodle incident joke. All right. What happened here? That, the game just hung for a second there. Am I losing HP for that? I don't think so. I don't think HP is a thing outside of battle, which is good. Oh, right, okay. Can we just fast travel here? Make your own damn guide to Boring Springs and its end bar arms. Uh, we'll go to the ore hole mine first. I didn't know fast travel was a thing. I think the game's done quite a poor job of letting me know that, but yeah, that's fine. Still some meat ore? Game 50 meat, all right. This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. Dude, I just stuck my hand in a used spittoon to get an old ring. I think I can handle going to the toilet. Oh, we'll get a mug. Because we can sell those back to the barkeep. Nice music. This mechanism is labelled Cargo Elevator Control. Oh no. Poster on the wall behind reads Level 1 Blasting Cap Storage, Level 2 Plungers, both kinds, Level 3 Tools. I've played enough RuneScape in my day to know what this kind of puzzle looks like. Um, I don't want to send the cargo elevator anywhere. I don't know where I am now. It's level three. Okay, we can pick the lot using a needle. And we got a crowbar. Let's find out what that does. This is one of those games where you kind of... You have to check everything you get. 
The crowbar is one of nature's simplest machines. It's exactly what you want on your side if a thing has a lid and you don't want it to have a lid anymore. That seems very reasonable. And also, it's a weapon. Unrefined meat nugget. Lovely. There's no plunge, so we need a plunger. Oh, I see, so it's actually, I'm actually descending the elevator to get whatever is on this level. This is not a puzzle, necessarily. Plungers, the sign line that there's only the one kind. Got an item, detonation plunger. Okay. Press the plunger. You press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up a blasting cap. Well, excuse me for not understanding the the mechanism by which a plunger detonates dynamite. I didn't think they actually existed in the real world, and I'm not completely convinced they do. These crates are all labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label. That's why it's inside the quotes like that. <laughs> this game is just, oh man, it's, if anything, it's funnier than Kingdom of Loathing. At least so far. Can we hook it up now? Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, you've succeeded in putting yourself in grave danger. Oh, I found a horse. You see the dark horse, barely. Hey there, girl, it's okay, I'm a friend. The horse shies away from you, though in this case it's more like tripling the introvert it's away from you. Yeah. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Feed the oats. Here you go. Yum, yum. She sidles away from you warily, makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding her own shadow. Come on, please. Eat the oats yourself. They're fine, okay, see? You take a handful from the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ugh, it's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten, so it's better than dry cat food. You smile to show the horse you were fine and realise that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine. Okay, so... Okay, that's fine. The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly to pat her on the nose, but she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. There's a good girl. Feed her the oats. The horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer a hand for the oats warily, but grudgingly she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. I wonder if she's just gone home. Also, I don't know what's new in here. So tell me there was something new, or I don't blame me. So I'm going to assume that the horse has gone home. And uh, we should be able to fast travel to... Let's get a thousand snakes gulch. This coffee may not have been the best idea. Oh, I'm just getting hit by cactuses. Am I just... Now, it, it gives me my maximum HP, but not my current HP, so I think we're, I think we're gonna be fine. The snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll attack it. Okay, so we can, we can increase our armor, because our, our physical attack is not doing a huge amount less damage than our magic attack. So we should be fine. Oh no, our magic attack would have just killed it. Alright. <laughs> didn't think that one through. Just didn't check its HP. I wonder if we can check its actual stats. Yes, we can. Okay. <laughs> Victory! You've slain a snake! Before long they'll call you Snake Murder and Katarina. We gain 3 XP. So, next fight. We should actually, um should level up. Another snake? Well, I guess it's not called One Snake Gulch. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, we have two action points. I wonder how we have more now. I wonder how we get more than those. More of those, even. Oh, and this time, because it's a startled rattlesnake with more HP, we actually could have just hit it twice. That's okay. Oh, dear me. All right, well, it's dead now. Which is good for me. Skill up gumption level two. Your level of get up and get it done, the higher it is, the quicker you are. Two speed. So I guess that's how we're getting more action points. Yeah, two speed, one maximum HP, one AP, sorry, one spleen capacity. So there's a lot of writing in this game. I'm trying not to spend too long on, on reading it, but it is like basically all writing. The snake looks really angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. This is, this is like a, a moxie snake, right? No, maybe not. It's just like slightly more powerful than the others. I guess. Yeah, because we have. Uh, I guess it's a speed thing, so like we we have. We had more speed than the last enemy, so we got more action points. Maybe. I don't know. Just guessing. It's a little bit darkest dungeon. 
also every other game ever made. Oh, all right. I could just kill it, but I think we might be fine. Two hits should do it. So as long as I don't die this time, we're going to be fine. We are quite poisoned, though. We're, like, substantially poisoned. Nice work. If the whole cowgirl thing doesn't work out, you could get a job as a snake exterminator. Moxie level two. You got Moxie, kid, and this is how much of it. All right, we knew all that. I'm avoiding these cactuses for no reason at all. It's also done snake crazy, or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? It's cool, all right. Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Pat his nose. That worked last time. He carefully and gently pats the horse's nose. He twitches a bit, okay, a lot, but seems to recognise you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever man is. He's bouncing around in that skull of his. Calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little, though it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Have some oats, buddy. You beat the crazy horse and the homeos, it gallops away with a whinny. Hopefully, he's headed home and not into the 12th dimension. Okay. So that's two out of three horses. Let's go to the spoopy graveyard. I found a Zephaniah Boring was actually a really interesting guy. Aww, and we'll grab some mugs, yeah. We need all the mugs we can get. A skeleton, you're not getting past it without a scuffle. Can I not? I can, okay. A scuffle it is! Okay, we can just kill it in one hit then. Yeah, get heated, boy. Progress towards next get up three out of ten, and that's mysticality, which is important for me. Your pulse quickens as you get in the spooky translucent horse. Hello there, hi, I'm a friend, okay? That's a little strange how you did that without opening your mouth. Feed of the oats. You hot out a handful of oats, oats, oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Pats her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you're gonna ride it, you want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Try the oats again. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I should put some bone meal on them. I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with grave dirt. Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. You sprinkle the oats with a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them and then eats them. Okay. That is bizarre. Yeah, you're not wrong. Let's see if we can get ourselves a horse. Yeah, all the horses came back. I don't know how you spoil Holly in the mind, but thanks for sending up my dark horse. My pale horse and my crazy horse. Great. Okay, and a little extra, so that's a thousand, which is enough to buy a horse. Ah ha ha! You said something earlier about an injury. Yeah, busting my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Is that an actual nurse? I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. Well, that looks like a side quest, but for now we're going to grab ourselves a horse. Oh, we can actually choose one. I do want a dark horse, a pale horse, or a crazy horse. I think I want a... So I guess the dark one is Muscle, the pale one is Moxie, and the crazy one is Mysticality? No, the pale one will be Mysticality, right? All right, I'm going to go with the one that I assume is a mysticality horse, assuming that that's how it works. Good choice. That's a good horse if you like that sort of thing. I'll set up a 1,000 meat. What sort of thing? You know, spooky stuff. Maybe they're elemental horses? Love it, I'll take it. Why not? We'll go for it. We haven't been given enough information to be reasonably sure of making the right decision, so I, I guess it's probably not going to matter too much. Here's the keys. Right, say. Give her a name. Choose a name for your horse. Yeah, all right. Tina's fine. We'll go with Tina the horse. Um, all right. That is not how you spell Tina. Oh, my word. This is what happens when your headphone cord is on the top of your keyboard. Are you sure you want to name your horse Tina? That's a great question. Sure, well, we'll take the default name. All right, then. Tina the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Oh, and I almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. You've got an item southeast west map. That's confusing. All right, well, we're half an hour in and we're just about to, to 
leave the town for the first time. So it seems like a good time to wrap this episode up, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, leave a leave a comment. Let me know what you enjoyed, and you know what you know, maybe uh, let me know like uh, what kind of thing you want to make me want to do moving forward. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>